Hi, I'm John. I've been using Avair on an Android tablet for a while, but I'm excited about a new app, Avair X, coming from the same people that brought us the awesome Avair app. Avair X is a new, completely free aviation app being developed by Khan and a team of volunteers at Apps for Av. Avair X is available for all major types of phones, tablets, and computers. This video will focus on AvRx on the iPhone and iPad. Let's start by installing the app. Go to the App Store and search for A-V-A-R-E-X. Tap Get to install it. Once it's installed, tap Open. When AvRx starts, it will ask you to sign the terms of use to protect you and the Apps for Av team and for your email address for filing flight plans. Next, you'll need to download the aviation da databases for your area. For VFR flight, I choose sectionals, tack, flyways, plates, and chart supplements. I'm in Southern California, so I choose Southwest for each of these. And I tap the area to change the question mark to the download symbol, a downward arrow. AvRx will automatically download all the sectionals for the area you've chosen. When you have selected all the free FAA materials you need, tap Start. You must wait for the download to complete before tapping the left arrow at the top of the screen. While the download is in progress, you'll see 0 of 6, 1 of 6, 2 of 6, and so forth in the upper right-hand corner as the materials are loaded. Remember to wait for them all to load. Tap outside the menu area to return to the moving map. Make sure that you've selected the type of uh, chart that you have downloaded. In this case, I'm selecting sectional. At the bottom of the screen, there are four display modes uh, indicated by the buttons for map, plate, flight planning, and find. So you press on map and then here's plate, flight planning, which we will get to in a another video, and find, which allows you to find your specific airports. Let's click back on map and we'll, we've selected sectional from the chart drop down menu on the lower right. In the moving map mode, the top row contains a status bar of badges showing ground speed altitude, track, distance, and bearing to a destination, and so forth. You may hold and drag any badge to change their order in the status bar. Note that some badges will be blank if a destination is not selected. You can drag the bar to the left to see additional buttons that are available on the right. To select a destination, you may press and hold over an airport, waypoint, or other des location. Tap the direct D signal symbol to select this new destination. Note that the runway headings and pattern directions are now visible on the sectional, along with the circles 2, 5, and 10 nautical miles from where you are. So pinch to zoom out and spread two fingers to zoom in. Hold your finger down and slide it to drag the map around. You can always tap the button labeled center and the bottom middle to come back to your current location. Above the chart and to the left of the button is a symbol that looks like calipers. The caliper button on the left of the layers button is used for measuring approximate distances and headings between multiple points. Tap the button and then tap at your initial location, whatever it is. Sometimes it's convenient to do that at your current location. And then each time you tap, a new measurement shows the distance and heading relative to the last location you tap. Tapping the menu button in the lower left allows you to download charts, 
manage tracks and other documents. Specify attributes for your airplane used in filing flight plans. Creating checklists and backing up your data. Your feedback on AverX helps improve the app. You can connect with AverX developers and users by joining the Apps for Av forum at groups.google.com slash g slash apps for av dash forum. And the forum location is on the last page of the help for Everex.